If you have ever struggled to keep track of all your thoughts and ideas or felt overwhelmed by your many interests, this video is for you. So um, I went out here, it's a nice um, Sunday evening in the garden and I brought out my some of my idea books that I had over time. This is one autumn winter one and the other one was spring. And um, I just wanted to talk about these idea books t today and just um, tell you how, how I'm keeping them and how they help me to stay organized and creative and productive. First of all, what is an idea book? Barbara Scheer got the idea from the notebooks of Leonardo da Vinci. Maybe you have heard of them, because Leonardo da Vinci had a lot of different interests as well. He kept notebooks, where he kept all his ideas and drawings and writings and everything that came to his mind, he kept in those books. His interests included nature, flying machines, geometry, mechanics, municipal construction, canals and architecture. So here are five key aspects of an idea book. Number one. It's a place for everything. So you have a place where you can keep all your ideas and everything and they don't get lost on little pieces of paper all around the house or some apps where you put things and then you don't find them anymore. Number two, there's no pressure to complete. So the idea book is a place where you can just make plans and dream and uh, set goals and there's no need to finish any projects. You can just come up with anything. It's a creative space where you can explore possibilities, brainstorm and sketch out ideas without the expectations of having to follow through on them. Number three, organizing interests. So over time, you will collect more and more ideas and you can start seeing a pattern and connections between your various interests. That will help you understand your scanner personality better and can guide you in choosing which projects or activities to pursue. Number four, you have the freedom to explore. With an idea book, you have the freedom to indulge in your curiosity. You can jot down ideas for a novel, for example, or a business plan or a design for a new product. Anything that comes to mind and captures your imagination at the moment. Number five, you get to record your passions. Your idea book serves as a record of your interests over time. It can be very interesting and enlightening to look back and see how your ideas and passions have evolved. This can also help you see which ideas have persisted and might be worth pursuing further. And now I want to show you what my books look like. Back in 2018, I started using these regularly. I began with just a simple spiral notebook, scribbling down whatever came to mind. I often make little drawings of something that I want to visualize. I make lists, I write down plans, maybe morning routines or evening routines if I want to try them out, or recipes, garden plants, all these different snippets of things that come to my mind and I don't want to forget. I put them all in here. I think it's great to even look back over them. I said this in my last video that I'm a cyclical scanner, so I keep coming back to the same topics over time. I can really see this in my idea books. When I come back to an interest for healthy food or seasonal food, I can go back to my old idea books and see what recipes I wrote down during that season. Idea books and homeschooling. These idea books helped me a lot as well when I was homeschooling my kids or my two boys at the time because my daughter went to school and I was always going between unschooling which is kind of an interest-led learning style and then Charlotte Mason which is like a book based. Well it's not really a curriculum it's more like a lifestyle where you read lots of books and you do nature study and listen to music and you look at art, read poems, things like that. 
So these notebooks gave me a place to organize my thoughts about how I wanted to homeschool. If I was more in a season of following my kids' interests, I could have a place where I write down what they were currently interested in and what they were doing in any given day. So to give me the feeling that there was learning happening in their days, even without me instigating it. During other phases, when I was interested in giving them more inspiration through books and music and art and so on, I was writing out plans, what we could do in the mornings together and during the day. And then I was trying them out and see how they went. So I hope you give it a try and start keeping a notebook or an idea book yourself. If writing isn't your thing and you prefer talking, you could use voice notes, which is a free app that lets you record your ideas on your phone. It's great for keeping everything organized when you're on the go. I've made a video about it, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to give idea books or voice notes a try. Let me know how it goes for you. And if you've got any tips for keeping track of your many interests, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Talk to you soon. Bye.